What is your opinion about electric electronic device that stimulate muscles nerves used for walking, for example, walk aid? So I l used to love, love, love walk aid. I thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. For those of you that don't know, walk aid is what we call functional electrical stimulation. So it's a device or it's electrical stimulation that stimulates the muscles in your legs leg, the muscles that lift the foot at the exact time that they need to be stimulated during the walking cycle. So provides the voltage directly to the muscle. Now, the important thing to know about that is the reason most of you can't lift your foot is because your brain is not connecting with that movement, right? So now we're taking that e-stem and we're applying it more locally and so you don't really need a lot of that higher level thinking. It's just kind of like a loop. And it's not really taking that voluntary thinking that's necessary from your brain, which is where most of you have had your injury and where, where most of the problems occur. And that gets into kind of some of the downsides of walk aid that I now am observing more frequently. One is, is that you just become desensitized to the e-stem and you keep needing to bump it up and use more and more e-stem. And the other thing is that you actually, when you take the device off, this is just what I've seen, this is anecdotal, but people actually have less movement. It's kind of like you're not, you're not rewiring the brain correctly because you're getting this external stimulus that's coming in. So that whole process, it's great technology because it times with your walking, it knows exactly when to lift your foot up and it delivers that e-stem at the exact right moment. But keep in mind, when the machine is doing all of that through modern technology via like a tilt sensor that's in it, when it's doing all of that, your brain is not doing that. So that is why I think I've seen people who come out of that brace um, or come out of the walk aid almost have less dorsiflexion when they come out of it. The other downside of it is that it is really expensive, so you do have to pay for it out of pocket. And something that I see quite frequently is if you have a lot of spasticity, it does not work. The e-stem is just not sufficient to overpower the pointing down, the involuntary pointing down of the foot. So if you are considering it and you really do want to try it, but you have a ton of spasticity, I would definitely take them up on their offer. Most distributors will, will allow you to trial it. I would definitely trial it for a longer period of time where you're in different situations, you're in public, you're not in a controlled environment to see does it actually work, work in real life for you. So just my thoughts on that. Again, you know, everyone has to do what's right for them and they do allow you to trial it. So if you do want to trial it, you know, go, go ahead and give it a try, but make sure you trial it before you purchase it. If you liked that video and you want to learn more exercises on how to improve your walking, definitely check out this video over here or that video over there. If you want even more help, check out our gold membership program where you'll get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly lives where you can get your questions answered.